Wait, this baby looks nothing like me. Mike, you son of a- <laughs> <laughs> Explosive diarrhea, parental mix-ups, and creative ways to get out of work. Today, we are breaking down and reacting to all of the laughable medical scenes and absurd injuries from the highly popular webcomic, Cyanide and Happiness. All right, let's dive right in. I'm sorry, but your wife died of a broken heart. What? She came in for a heart transplant. I dropped it. <laughs> oh my gosh. People do come in with broken heart syndrome. One, you might actually be stressed and upset and broken hearted, but you actually can have abnormalities of the heart. You'll actually have evidence that it looks like somebody's having a heart attack, but when they do a cardiac catheterization, looking at the blood vessels are actually clean and open. And it's due to basically that broken heart, that stress. Oh, congratulations. It's a baby boy. Wait, this baby looks nothing like me. Mike, you son of a- <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God. I mean, that happens not that often in what I do for a living, obviously, because we occasionally deliver babies in the emergency department, but a lot of times the father is not around. We don't necessarily see where that individual is. So the baby may not look like the woman, but it has to do with what genes are more dominant that are expressed and obviously what two individuals made that child. Where are those damn car keys? Uh, uh. Come on, I'm gonna be late for work. Huh? Ah. I made it! That is horrible. Any firearms should be locked in a safe in your home. You could probably call an ambulance for just about anything. Shooting yourself in the leg. I wouldn't do that. You increase the risk of arterial injury, venous injury, you know, shooting your bone, causing fractures. And then you can also lead to long-term damage, infection. You can even lose the leg. Mrs. Jones, after doing some tests, I'm making the diagnosis that your son is on the spectrum. I see. What do you mean exactly? Where does he fall? Here, let me show you on the chart. <gasps> so typically when somebody is describing the spectrum, they're typically talking about autism spectrum disorders. It has to do with you know social interactions, communication, repetitive movements or actions. But this chart has absolutely nothing to do with that. Well, I got the test results back and it doesn't look good. You've got chlamydia, gonorrhea, and onomatopoeia. What's onomatopoeia? It's exactly what it sounds like. <laughs> Chlamydia and gonorrhea actually can occur commonly together. They both are sexually transmitted infections. Both are treated with antibiotics, different antibiotics. If you have either of these, you definitely need to avoid sexual relations with other people because it is highly contagious. Now it's time to give me a taste of your medicine. Oh my gosh. Shit, man. Oh man. Doctors should not be working on pain medication. People should not be operating heavy machinery or driving with pain medication because they alter different perceptions and could actually cause you to have poor judgment, cause others to get injured. Help! I'm bleeding out! You need to apply pressure! Quit bleeding or I'm gonna kick your ass! That's too much pressure! <laughs> <laughs> Wrong type of pressure. Somebody who's having squirting blood coming from their chest. What do you do? Obviously call 911. Get them to the hospital ASAP and then direct pressure to the area. Fill that wound up potentially with gauze. If you see a blood vessel that's actually bleeding, you might be able to actually stick your finger on there and just cause the hole and the bleeding to stop. Oh God. Oh no, somebody come quick. It's the captain. Is there a doctor on board? I am a doctor. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I just love that they're in the, the, like the doctor uniform. I've been on an airplane before where literally I've been called to help and assist and, and you know, we try to help you assess. Most people just pass out or they're sick and they're usually okay. Well? Yep, he's dead. You don't need to use your stethoscope to listen to somebody's head. It won't work. You can use stethoscope to listen to somebody breathing, listening to their heart sounds, and even put it on their neck to listen for any airway narrowing. To check to see if somebody is alive or dead, you check their pulse, you check for breathing, and then you actually check eye movements and uh, corneal reflexes. My wife, you son of a bitch. <laughs> And 
and here's your bill. Wow, that was a classic sewing needle. We don't use those. The needles that we use are small and curved, so you can do instrument ties. Every now and then we have a straight needle like that. Typically we'll use that for chest tubes, but we try to stay away from that type of needle because you have a higher chance of causing yourself a needle stick because you're not using a tool. Well, we've got your x-rays back and we can see absolutely nothing. You're good to go. <laughs> awesome, have a good day. <laughs> If say somebody gets up, they try to walk and they continue to have significant amount of pain that doesn't make sense for what you're seeing, you can actually end up doing a CT scan to get a better depiction. You might actually pick up a fracture that wouldn't necessarily show up on an x-ray. Hey doctor, my head hurts. How bad? This bad. <laughs> That's so messed up. Is it the worst headache of your life? Is it a gentle headache? Was there trauma? Are you infected? Do you have a fever? Do you have neck pain? A lot of different reasons why somebody would have a headache. I'm sorry, but you suffer from immature ejaculation. What? Immature ejaculation? I think that's like a play on like premature ejaculation. So premature ejaculation does happen. It occurs prematurely, meaning very quickly versus somebody who is immature, fart noises in the arms or whoopee cushions or whatever. And then that causes it. Yeah, that doesn't happen. I need you to take a look at this body and see if it's anyone you recognize. So really interesting, the structure of the musculature poster in the back looks super cool. You see the striations. <gasps> This is unprofessional. Who is your superior? I want to speak to them, right? Oh, that's definitely not our Stephanie. Oh, that's not our daughter's vagina. <laughs> wow, that was weird. I haven't actually been to a morgue in the hospital. I've only seen the depictions of them in all the different medias that we have. You don't ever expose an individual or patient in an inappropriate way. All right, scrubs, one final test and you get to be doctors. Read this without <laughs> laughing. Explosive diarrhea. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you try not to laugh. Hey, sometimes you laugh with patients. It's, it's okay, you're a human being. It's just laughing at the appropriate time and not being childish anymore. You kind of grow out of that. Super entertaining. These are a lot of rapid fire clips, which were good and actually brings to light a lot of situations that do happen. If you guys enjoyed this, definitely check out and binge watch this playlist and series right here. And as always, make sure you subscribe, turn your bell notifications on and hit that like button for me. Thank you so much for watching and stay healthy, my friends.